Uh, my name is Ken Diffenderfer. I run the stem cell core at the Salk Institute in La Jolla, California. Through the core facility, we help inform best practices with the user base at the Salk Institute. We do um, IPS line generation, quality control around that. We isolate and derive primary cells as well for the purposes of generating iPSCs. So we primarily use Coltrex BME to support human pluripotent stem cell applications. Um, and this is in a, the context of a 2D growth substrate. We also use it um, as the substrate to do our 3D modeling and organoid generation um, with HPSCs. In 2015, we started to evaluate Coltrex BME um, as a alternative to major gel. Um, at that time, we um, pursued some rigorous quality control testing comparing Coltrex to major gel tested, and, and, and in that, we tested 10 cell lines for over 20 passages um, through various functional assays and found it to be an incredibly stable and consistent product. Um, since that time, we um, have been lot testing um, Coltrex BME um, for individual lot purchases um, as we consume that reagent. Um, and we have tested approximately 20 lots of Coltrex BME um, in that time. Um, through those 20 lots, not a single one has failed our internal QC paradigm. Um, and ultimately, we end up picking our favorite one. Um, when we do lot testing. Um, we also get notice on the state of the you know, uh, available vials in that lot. Um, and so having all that information up front is incredibly helpful um, and ultimately goes downstream to informing um, the products we ultimately buy.